Okay, I am out front of this duplex on Edna. I just want to give you a feel for the neighborhood. So there, you're one house away from Five Mile. Five Mile is a pretty busy road, and Edna, Edna is kind of a long east-west meandering road, and there's sections of it that are really nice and quiet, and sections of it that are a little bit more busy. Um, just due to this being closer to Five Mile, this is probably a little bit busier section, but it's it's not not bad. Nothing that at least uh, the traffic wouldn't personally deter me. Um, so this is the place right here. I just walked through the left side, so I'm going to walk you through there, and then I'll probably do a separate video for the, the right side. Um, from what I can see up here, the roof, uh, I'll, I'll probably get a better view from the back. It's not new. I mean, I don't see any major physical damage, but I, I would guess that the roof probably is somewhere in the range of 15 to 20 years old. Um, obviously, you've got a two-car garage here. There's no gas to the house, so the furnace is electric, and the water heater is electric. Um, you can see the landscaping is there's good bones here just needs a little attention that's all so it's got an interesting layout you walk in here and directly in front of me there's a couple of coat closets here and then the master bedroom is immediately to the right and then you can see laundry straight ahead and the garage is down there so this is nothing exciting just two side-by-side -side coat closets um, but if I so master bedrooms right there if I turn to my right living room uh, the kitchen, dining, and two other bedrooms in the bathroom are down there. So I just want to give you a feel for the layout. But if I walk right into the master here, um, it's a decent sized master. It's probably 12 by like 16 feet, 12 by 18 maybe. Um, throughout the house, you've got this low pile of carpet and it's probably about at the end of its life. Um, I would say the flooring throughout is probably, probably about done. Um, you've got a big closet here, about eight foot wide. And then the bathroom is through here. So you can see it's got a tile floor. Um, you've got your toilet and a shower right here. Um, everything here seems to be in good shape. It just needs a cleaning, I think. And you've got a little, uh, looks like a 30 inch vanity there. All right, I'll head back out. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm come back down to the garage uh, after we tour this part, but your living room is right here. It's a pretty good sized living room, probably 15 by 20 feet, something like that. Um, again, you can see the carpet's pretty well worn. Uh, and I, uh, just for reference, only windows this one, it faces that front yard. Uh, if I walk through here, you come to the kitchen. Um, kitchen's got 18 inch ceramic tiles throughout. Um, you've got a dining space, obviously a sliding glass door for the backyard there. Um, just for reference, the kitchen is over here to the right. I'll go take a closer look. And then to the left here is a hallway, a couple bedrooms and a bathroom down there. So kitchen. Um, kitchen is the nicest part of the house, actually. It's in, it's in really good shape. The cabinets look modern. Um, the appliances look like they're in good shape. Uh, they don't all match, but they look like they're fine. Uh, and then you've got granite tiles for the countertop. So it looks like a pretty nice install. Um, and then it's trimmed with these ceramic tiles. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the kitchen's pretty good. It's probably 12 by 10 feet. There's a lot of space in here, and you've got a little breakfast bar. So we'll head out to the backyard, and I'll come back in and hit the rest of those rooms. Um, some pretty nice space in the backyard. There's a nice big deck here. It's probably 20 by 10 or 12 feet, something like that. So a lot of outdoor space here. Um, the siding... It's like a composite wood siding. It looks like it's been freshly painted. It's in good shape. Uh, and then you've got a decent amount of grass space back here. So, obviously the leaves need to be cleaned up a little bit. And then there's a fence with a gate that goes over to the next unit. So we'll go over there in a minute. Um, and then just over here on the side, you've got uh, an electric air conditioner over here. Take a closer look at that. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, see if I can see a date on this one. I don't see a date. It doesn't look terribly old to me. I mean, my guess would be that this is probably five to ten years old. Um, but I didn't see a date on there. Usually when they're older than that, you see a little bit more rust and the fins are uh, a little more damaged and, and rusty. So. Um, oh, I can get a better look at the, the roof from over here as well. So, it probably doesn't do much to, to show you this, but um, 
You can see the roof vents up there are uh, galvanized steel and there's a little rust on them and I can just see some wear uh, just from age on the roof from here that the granules from the the uh, shingles are, have, have worn off just from normal wear and tear. Okay, so I am going to, just for reference again, that is the entryway right there. So the front door is just to the left through there and I'm in the dining room. There's another hallway here. Um, so the carpet through here is worn pretty well, but to the left, right when I walk into here, you've got your second bathroom. And it's a good sized bathroom. It's about eight by 10 feet probably. Um, you've got a bathtub with a tile surround, a little bit dated, but it's in good physical shape. Somebody refinished this bathtub at some point and then the refinishing is coming up. I don't know if you can tell from the video. Well, let me pull this back a little bit more obvious probably. You can see some of that finish is coming up. Um, you've got uh, 18 inch porcelain tiles it looks like and obviously your toilet and then another 30 inch vanity. Um, all this stuff is totally fine. Not super modern, but it's not super dated. Uh, as I walk down the hall here, you've just got a linen closet here on the left. And then bedroom number one here, I guess, bedroom number two. You can see they have this set up like a kid's room. This is a pretty standard size room. It's probably 10 by 10 feet. Um, it's hard to, to give you much of a feel for it, but there's a little walk-in closet right there. And then the last bedroom right over here. Um, this bedroom's a little bit bigger. It's probably 12 by 14, something like that. And got a bifold closet there. It's about six feet wide. And then let's see if we can get back up here and take a look at the garage. Hey. Okay, so again, coat closets. And then right here, there's a closet that has a water heater. So this is just a, an electric water heater. Um, I don't see a sticker on this one for the date either. Uh, 06 installed in 06 so it's about 15 years old and then washer and dryer here and then the uh, uh, furnace is right here so it's an electric furnace again um, i would guess it's probably about the same age as that air conditioner but there's no date on this i well it says 9 19 2009 i'm not sure if somebody replaced a furnace there that was the install date and finally you've got your garage right through here so two car garage um, there's a little room on the storage or on the side for storage. There's some built-in shelving and that kind of stuff. We've got a flashing LED light there. So a uh, single door garage, but it's a little bit wider than standard. You've got about three feet on the side, which is nice to give you a little bit extra storage. So, um, and again, just to kind of give it, there's some of this linoleum throughout the house and you can see that it's worn pretty well. So that is the left unit.